Hello and welcome to another video where I summarise one of the studies from component 2 of the OCR A-level psychology in about 60 seconds. This video is about Murray's 1959 study. In my experience it's one of the ones that students find a little bit tricky partly because it's another one of those ones that's split into multiple experiments. So let's start the clock and we'll give it a go and see what we can manage. So this study was actually three lab experiments, two repeated and one independent measures. There was a range of different samples in each experiment, but in all of them they had to shadow some pros in their right ear, which means read as long as closely as possible, while doing other tasks at the same time. In experiment one, they presented words in their left ear and then either had to recall words that were rejected or shadowed. 4.9 shadowed words were recalled on average, whereas only 1.9 rejected words were recalled on average. In experiment two, participants heard instructions in their left ear, half of which had their name at the start, and they found that effective instructions, that's the named ones, were followed about five times more often uh, as non-effective instructions. In experiment three, there were numbers randomly included in the shadowed message or presented alone to the left ear, and uh, participants were asked to recall either the numbers by themselves or text and numbers together. They found no significant difference in that study. Uh, the numbers weren't even remembered when they were in the same ear as the shadowed text. This tells us that auditory attention is a limited resource and only semantically relevant information gets through. We see that in experiment experiment two, but not in experiment three. In terms of evaluation, there's good standardization and good control of extraneous variables. Uh, there's no ethical issues in the study. However, there were uh, subjective adjustments of the volume levels between each ear, which causes problems of reliability, and poor recording of the sample data itself is also an issue with this study because we don't know about the population validity. Uh, that was 100 and uh, 20 odd seconds, one minute and 25 seconds actually. I'm so flustered by how intense this study was I forgot how to count. If you've got any questions about this experiment please leave them in the comments below. I'm going to slow down a little bit now. This is a study that uh, throws people off a little bit but uh, as long as you break it down into its individual parts, experiment one, experiment two, experiment three, it, it kind of looks after itself. Anyway, get involved in the comments if you have any more questions and I will see you next time.